Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to find the area of a triangle. So how to find the area of a triangle using matrices. Or let's say using determinants. So let's, let's go ahead and find that. So let's suppose we have a triangle with these coordinates. Let's suppose x1, y1 and x2, y2 and x3, y3. So we have these three points for a triangle. Let's suppose these are the three points x1, x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. And we're supposed to find the area of this triangle. Well, that would be the value of half of the determinant of x1, x2 and x3, y1, y2 and y3. And we're going to keep this as 1, 1 and 1. So this, the value of this determinant here is going to give us the value of the area of this triangle. So the, this would actually be the area of this triangle. Now there are a few things that you need to remember that uh, since the area is always positive, so this is something whether, whether the determinant comes out to be positive or the determinant comes out to be negative, the area is always going to be positive. Right, so you're going to keep that in mind. So that means you're always going to take the absolute value of whatever number you get. So whatever number you get, you're going to take the absolute value of it. Second thing is that uh, if let's suppose you're given the value of determinant and you're supposed to find the value of area, then you will all you will consider the positive value of the determinant and the negative value of the determinant, right? Because you know. Uh, since it doesn't make work the other way around as well because if i say modulus of x is equal to a so you know if modulus of x is equal to a then x can be equal to a or x can be equal to negative a so anything is possible so then it's it's there and the third point is that uh, the area of three collinear points points which lie on one line the area is going to come down as zero because collinear points do not form any triangle Fine, I suppose you're understanding this point over here. Let's go ahead and use this use this, and let's say we want to find uh, the area of the triangle formed by these points. Let's suppose we want to find the area of the triangle formed by these points. So the area is actually going to be half into, so you're going to have 3, negative 4 and 5, 3, negative 4 and 5, 8, 2 and 1, 8, 2 and 1 and 1, 1, 1. So now what we do is we just have to find the value of this determinant. So that's going to be half into 3 times 2 minus 1 minus 8 into uh, negative 4 and negative 5. And then I have plus 1 into uh, negative 4 and negative 10. So that's going to be half into 3 uh, plus 3 plus 72 minus 14, which is actually equal to 61 by 2, which is the area of the triangle formed by these three points over here. Now let's say we have this question here. So the question says that find the value of k. It says the area of the triangle formed by these three points is actually equal to three square units. So what is the area of the triangle uh, formed by these three points? Uh, so so we're gonna actually uh, you know find the area of the triangle, which is gonna be half the value of one zero and k, one zero and k, three zero and zero, and one one one. So that will actually be equal to either positive 3 or negative 3. Now why is that? Because uh, as we said in the previous uh, slide that if the area of the triangle is given, then you should consider both the values of determinant. You know, it can be a positive value, it can be a negative value. So from here what we can do is we can actually try and find this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, find this using this. I'm going to find the value of the determinant using this row here. So this and this is going to be 0. So if I just talk about this which is 1 times, uh, this is gone and this is gone, that is 3 times k. So that is what it is. And uh, since this is uh, this is a of first, second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column. So I'm going to have negative 1 uh, associated with it. That is actually equal to positive or negative 3. So negative 3k by 2 is either equal to 3 or negative 3k by 2. Uh, it's uh, either equal to negative 3. So from here, I'll get the value of k to be equal to negative 2. And from here, I'll get the value of k to be equal to positive 2. So any of these values are going to work. So this would be about this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, just make sure that you explore this website. That is perfect. And uh, dash scores.com.
a uh, lot of exciting stuff here this would be the facebook page to give us your valuable like and this would be our email address to give us your valuable feedback so this would be about this video guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next